everyone, Thomas here and welcome back to another video. So today I'm back here for another build and this one is going to be a Christmas cabin. Now this is actually going to be part of a tag that Made in Sims and Yorkie Lad made. They did a Christmas cabin uh, build collab a little while ago and then they set up this tag where you can basically make your own. Uh, Add in the hashtag uh, Christmas cabin and then it'll be in a playlist of all different people's uh, Christmas cabins. So um, I was actually going to make one of these anyway so I just thought I'd add in the hashtag as well. Um, so if I'll leave it in the description. I think it works if you click on the hashtag in the description. Then it'll take you to like a YouTube search result with like all the people's things in who had the hashtag I think. Hopefully that works. So I'm going to talk you through the build here. Now this is um, kind of like a bigger build I would think. I don't really do a lot of builds on this scale and um, I just like doing smaller builds because what happens is I get like bored and then like impatient and things and I take shortcuts and I'm not happy with it and it's just like a huge big mess so I don't really do a whole lot of big builds I think the only other big build I've done is the penthouse that I did a couple of weeks ago but I think my building skills are starting to improve a little bit and I'm starting to do a little bit more of them and um, so for this house it's in Granite Falls which is the world that came with Outdoor Treat um, and I'm you know just doing it there <laughs> I don't know what else to say and um, as you can see I don't have the snow mod in. Um, I do have it in a little bit later, and that will be like it. It was over a couple of days I did this. So right here, I'm doing this one day that was like the 21st, I think. And then once it switches over to the snow mod, that was the 23rd I did that. And when the snow mod starts, that's actually me using my new graphics card as well. Uh, that's why I was a couple of days break in between because I had to get my graphics card installed, uh, which is the uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980, which I got from X7 Sims X. So thank you, Jen, for that. My video is going to improve so much and I can't wait to get in the new year and start making proper videos with it. So, um, I'm starting off the landscaping this time first, like doing all of the outside first. Um, I don't really do that. I normally like make the basic shape of the house, go in and do all the walls and interior, then go outside and fix the windows up to whatever I put the walls to. Um, but I did the other way around this time. I wanted the outside to look a particular way, and then I made the walls inside adjusting to the windows, if you know what I mean. Um, so I do have a pond out here. It doesn't really look right for Christmas because I don't have the winter mod in, but you will see that in a second. And what I actually do is in this day, um, I do actually do all of the outside, all of the decorations and everything. And then when I switch back in a minute to the couple of days after, I just look back at it, I just thought it looks tacky and just not nice. So I did the whole outside again, uh, not like the build, but like the decorations and everything. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much, uh, oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. <laughs> I got this tip from some YouTube, I can't remember who it was, I'm from a video, I think it was Starlight Sims, I, I, I don't know why that name's coming to mind. Um, they were doing a build a little while ago and they were saying that to try to stick with like one or two like colours of plants. And I think that's a really good tip because what I used to do was like just use every single plant I had in the game and put them all together. And when you look back at back it, it looks a little bit messy so I went back and just used a couple of plants for this build and um, not you know huge uh, big variety of them and um, so I do have the same pond in the back I just copied it over and then adjusted the plants and changed the shape slightly um, and maybe you'll see from the start of the video now how the graphics has changed I mean it's probably going to be in Oh, I can't speak. It'll be my LP episodes that are going to, you know, notice the biggest change because that's in real time. This is sped up, so it might be a little bit jumpy. Um, but I, I'm really, really happy with the graphics card. I was literally, when I opened the game, I was just in total shock of how <laughs> how smooth it was. Um, so here I'm just going in. Well, my voice just cracked there. I'm just going in with um, the lights around the outside. I kind of kept the same thing, just going all the way around the house for the top and the bottom. So I did not uh, record all of that. Um... Did I mention that this took me over five hours? I had over five hours of footage in my timeline, but then I, you know, cut it down to about 40 minutes, which is quite short compared to what it was at the start. Um, but I didn't want to bore you too much. I think with speed builds, it can get quite long. Um, so I didn't want it to be like that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, info for the well, well, I don't know. I can't speak today. I don't know why. I think I'm too excited because today is actually Christmas Eve. If you didn't know, um, so I'm kind of excited. Anyway, so in the inside, I kind of kept it similar to the outside in terms of colours. It's a lot of darker colours, but you know there are some lighter aspects like the main cream walls, but they do have the darker borders around them. Same with the windows and the doors are all dark as well. Um, and then also using these lights on the walls. Now, I don't think I've ever used these before, and I was like, where are those from? Because they look really nice. I saw them in somebody's speed build a while ago, and I was like, wow, they look, that 
<laughs> I can't even speak. I'm too excited about things like. <laughs> um, but they were actually part of the base game. And I had no idea. So I'm going to use those a couple more times now because I just thought they looked really, really nice for this build. Um, and yeah, so there's something else I was going to say. Oh yeah, that was it. Red. Um, now for Christmas, I was kind of going through and I was like, oh, I need to make this room Christmassy because that's what I was keep forgetting. Um, so I did go through and um, put little hints of red every now and again around. You'll see like little bits of red in each room. Hopefully, maybe the kitchen's the only exception to that. But you know, I did try. Um, so as you will see in the main dining room there I do have like two tables put together and what I forgot to do was that there are actually uh, tables that came with the free holiday pack that I could have used so I do change that in a minute or two um, there was something else I was going to say like at the start and I was like oh I'll, I'll say it in a minute and I've totally forgotten it now oh why can't I think oh well well, there's something else I was going to say. It's about the hot tub. Now, <laughs> um, I really, really like the hot tub. It just add a nice little addition. The scenery in the back is really, really nice, especially with the snow mod. So I thought having that outside, maybe be a little bit chilly. So I put a couple of uh, patio warmers in there as well. Um, and I thought that looked really nice. So um, we're pretty much finished with the downstairs, kind of. I'm just going in with some finishing touches. Um, one thing what really annoys is, I think I just mentioned this at the start, is that... With big builds like this, I feel like I need more paintings because I'm using the same ones over and over again. It just gets a little bit boring by the time I'm nearly finished and I just feel it looks all a bit bland. So I really need like a new like paintings stuff pack or something like that um, because it is getting a little bit boring I think in terms of paintings and I don't want to have to you know get custom content ones because they don't really fit the rest of the house if I'm not using custom content and then there's a problem with you downloading it and everything so I try to stick away from custom content in builds Um, I, I really like custom content in creator sim but when it comes to builds it just I don't think it looks right there are a couple of things which I really like Um, there are like custom content mods that I use I had this one a while ago and I hope I still have it in my game because I haven't really like thought about it but there was this mod which allows you to put stuff on top of microwaves and fridges it was like just for like decoration objects but it was a, just a really nice thing <laughs> can't think of anything else to call it a thing um so as you've seen that i did change the um dining table i did have two of them like i said um it, the space was too big just to have one so i just put two together i know you probably only use one but oh well so in this room over here i didn't really know what to do with it um i think i might have shown you that at the start oh was it that room i don't know because i had like the uh tv wall there and i was like well how am i going to get this wall so i had to, this wall really this room so i had to put a door on that TV wall, and I don't know if that looks the best, but you know, it was the only thing I could really do. Um, so that's pretty much it for this room. It was kind of a little bit different. I don't know if it fits in with the rest of the theme of the house. It was kind of like a little more of a modern aspect to it, um, when the rest of the house is more traditional. But I mean, I suppose that's okay. So now we're getting on to the bathroom. Um, as you can see, I was trying to move the walls around to get that door working, but then I also realized that I needed to put a staircase in somewhere, and that was kind of the only place it would work. And where the stairs go up to is actually works out really well because that's kind of like a landing area and um, so it did work out really well in the end even though I didn't plan the stairs into my build at the start so I'm kind of just doing the bathroom here this is kept a little bit more lighter than the rest of the house and um, I'll do use some darker colors such as the well I was going to say the, the mirror there but I did change the color of that and um, so it's all kept lighter colors like I said uh, apart from the mat so in this house is actually only two bedrooms and two bathrooms which I feel it might be a little bit like not enough from the size of the house. I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. I suppose you could maybe add a basement in or even a third floor if you really need the extra space. And um, this again, you could actually put this in Granite Falls like I did once you download it, once I put it on the gallery. Um, and you could use it as like a place to rent out for the Christmas season, even though Christmas is tomorrow. Um, but you know, you could use it another time really. Um, what I was going to say, it's, I think it's about over 1,000 per day, which I mean, it's quite a lot, but for things like this, it kind of turns out like that. Um, though I was having that light glitch with the curtains as you can see it looks pink but it's actually red it's just that thing where it has well for the light the color curtains it goes blue and it's so so annoying it was supposed to be fixed in an update a long long time ago and it just i just kept getting it and i still get it to this day and it's the most annoying thing ever <laughs> so here we are with the master bedroom and or master however you say it. um the bedroom with the <laughs> with the bathroom and kind of like an extra space i didn't know what to do with that extra space i was kind of going to make it in like a vanity thing using vintage vintage, <laughs> vintage glamour but um it was kind of just too big so i added in the fireplace and it's kind of just like a smaller living room sort of thing and it's kind of all like a huge section of upstairs it's just for this bedroom really um so the bathroom upstairs is literally pretty much 
similar. Well, well, that didn't make sense. Pretty much the same to the one downstairs. I just changed up the colours very slightly um, and the position and everything. Here we are with the landing, which I think I did see at the start of the build is the other Christmas tree. There's two Christmas trees in this um, build. For the upstairs, it was kind of hard to make a Christmassy apart from this landing area. So I did have to kind of include another Christmas tree. The rest of it isn't really... Christmassy, but it is like cabiny, I suppose. If that's a if that's a word, I don't know. And um, but the outside does have the snow modding. I really recommend you go and get that. I mean, Christmas just finished tomorrow. Finished tomorrow. I mean, is tomorrow. Um. So I mean, well, winter still goes on. So you know, it is still useful to get it if you haven't already. Uh, it was by Sim Cookie, I believe. Um, who is a French um. <laughs> I said snow modder, but what? Um, I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. Wait, what, what in the way I'm trying to, like, mod maker, I guess? I don't even know. I've done this voiceover so many times today, it's unbelievable. I think this may be my 11th or 12th take on this voiceover. It is currently 5.30 on the 24th of December, and I'm still here doing the voiceover. I started at 10 a.m., 9 a.m. this morning, actually, and it was just kept getting interrupted, and things are coming up, and I had to stop, and then I'm having to take another take, because I'm just a total mess today. I think I'm just too excited for Christmas tomorrow, even though I'm kind of getting old, and I'm just not that excited anymore, but, you know, it still is Christmas, I suppose. It doesn't even feel like Christmas, to be honest. I don't know why. It came around so quickly, I think, and just like, oh, I'm not Christmassy at all. But I'm kind of excited, so that's probably why I'm messing up the voiceover so much. Anyway, <laughs> here we are with the second bedroom. And because I wasn't really doing much Christmassy stuff with the rest of the house, I decided to make this room red. And that, like I said, I was trying to add, li li I can't speak again, little bits of red throughout this build, and that was another place, like the rug there in the landonary, which is kind of more autumn-y, but I mean, it is red, so oh well. And then with this room here, it was kind of too small to be a bedroom, but I didn't really want to add another bathroom, because you mean, there's only two bedrooms, if you know what I mean, so um, I kind of just made this into like a music room sort of thing. I did ha try to find like a, a keyboard to put in there, but I couldn't find it, so I kind of just made it into a karaoke room. I don't even know it's totally pointless that room to be honest but you know that's okay and then here we have like a bigger room this is kind of just like a general I don't even know what you call it kind of just like a bar room sort of thing it's a little bit similar to what I have in my Collins family house and um, I have like a big thing downstairs for like a bar room Um, it's kind of just a place to like hang out I guess I just have a big bar in there another fireplace a couple of seats and I think I did put a games table in there as well so, we're finally at the end of the build, after 5 hours later, but just about 12 minutes for you, we're finished, and um, I'm really, really happy how this turned out, it's much, much better than I expected it to be, and I can't, oh, I'm just so happy with it. <laughs> so, I will put this on the gallery as soon as I open my game, and um, another thing is, if you didn't know, I do have an ongoing, um, Q and, well, you can start submitting Q&A questions. If you're watching this after the 29th of December 2016, then it might not make sense, but I am doing a Q&A on the 29th, um, and you can, I do have a video that uploaded yesterday from this video, so you can go and watch that. It'll just give you information about why you can submit your questions and such. So, here are the screenshots. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments section down below about what you thought. Let me know about what you thought of the mission I met at the start. Let me know if there's anything I should improve on. L literally just anything, because I need something to help me get better with bigger builds, because I'm not too good at them and that's pretty much it so here we are with just the last couple of screenshots for the upstairs here i think these screenshots are in like random orders i don't know no they're not actually wait are they hmm no they're actually okay because <laughs> sometimes when i put them in the sony vegas they go all to pop but i think they look okay here so that is it for this video all hope you have a good christmas if you're watching this on the 24th for tomorrow let me know what you got if you've got anything exciting um and that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed if you did please make sure you leave a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't i'll leave the hashtag in the description so you can go and watch everybody else's videos as well and i'll see you all next time bye mm -hmm.